Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a video on solving by substitution. I've decided to go with yet another different way of making videos for today, so I thought I'd get going and get making the video. Um, to start, one trick um, to do is, uh, in this example, here's my two equations. Um, always take a minute and number your equations. This is going to help you kind of keep things organized and straight. Uh, it's going to help uh, prevent um, any issues or problems that you have in terms of organization. So that's the first thing to do. Um, in this example, you can see that y is already by itself. It's ready to be substituted in. Look always for the equation that has one of the terms, uh, x or y, already isolated and by itself. This is going to make it easy to insert this into the other equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation number two and insert it into equation number one. So rewrite equation number one. So let me change the color of my pen. So I'll write equation one. I'll just kind of box this off to the side. Uh, it's going to take a ton of room as well. Um, so this is going to be x plus y equals 10. The next thing I'm going to do so I'm going to substitute in. So that becomes x plus, and then when you substitute in our value, so when you substitute in um, this 4x, I'm going to substitute it in using brackets. So I'm going to I'll substitute that in as 4x equals 10. All right, so now I'm going to break it out of the brackets. And because it's plus 1 beside it, it's really easy and straightforward. So this becomes x plus 4x equals 10. Next, I can simplify this. What is x plus 4x? 1x plus 4x makes 5x equals 10. I can further isolate now by dividing by 5, divided by 5. My two 5s cancel out. And we get 10 divided by 5 equaling 2, so x equals 2. Once you have one of your values, you can then take this value and substitute it back into either one of your equations. For me, oh, to find what y equals. For me, I'm going to use equation number 2 because it's so easy. There's really not much to it, so I'll just substitute that in. So I have y equals 4x. I now substitute our value in that we found for x over here. So that's going to be y equals 4 times 2. And that's what's 4 times 2? 8. Sorry, my one of my control bars is right at the bottom there. So my final answer is x equals 2, y equals 8. What you can do once you're done is you can do a check. So I've run out of room on this slide to do my check. So I'm going to do my check on another um, on another uh, uh, page. So just let me move over to another page. I'm just going to add a page in here. Slide. So um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and I know that my y equals 8 and my x equals 2. So I'll just flip back now. So next. Um, so we had that x plus y equals 10. Um, I'm going to just flip back to my uh, substitute in. So my x was equal to 2. And my y was equal to 8. I'm just writing brackets to show that I'm um, um, substituting in my values for x and y that we found. Next, I break them out of brackets. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10 equals 10. So we know that it's correct for equation number 1. We'll check it also for equation number two. Equation number two was y equals, was it 4x, I believe? I'm just taking a second. Yeah, it was y equals 4x, sorry. So the next thing I do is I substitute in our values. So we know that y equals eight. And four times two, eight equals eight. So that we know that it is also correct, so therefore we know for sure we verified to make sure that our solution is correct. So I have a second example is a little bit harder. Here's our second example. I wrote it a little bit bigger. I wish I hadn't. Um, so with this um, example, we've got um, our two equations here. Um, 
Again, we do have one that's already isolated for us. So you can see that uh, in this equation here, equation number two, I'll take a second and label them. There's equation number one, equation two, eeks. I don't even know, know how I did that. Um, equation two, um, I'm just trying to get this one bar to go away so I can write, there we go. Um, for equation two, you can notice again that y is by itself, so it's easy to substitute this part of the equation right in there for y, which is exactly what we're going to do to start. So I'm just going to kind of box this off. So I wish I had paper in my document camera because this would be a lot easier. Um, so I'll start by rewriting my first equation. Let me just change my pen color. So our first equation is 4x minus y equals 6. The next thing I do is I'm going to substitute, because y is by itself, we're going to substitute this expression in for y. So we're gonna, that value, what y is equal to, we're going to um, um, substitute that in. So we'll have 4x, I write my minus symbol, I write my bracket, I go 2x minus 4, close my bracket, equals 6. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to have to break this other bracket. And don't forget, you're going to have to multiply that negative symbol to both terms inside the brackets. So we got to use the distributive property that we learned a long time ago to distribute that in. So I rewrite my 4x. What is negative? What is this negative sign or negative 1 times positive 2x? Because don't forget this negative sign right here means negative 1 and you're multiplying that negative 1 in. So what is negative 1 times positive 2x? It's negative 2 x. What's negative 1 times negative 4? It's positive 4 equals 6. I don't know what's going on the side of my screen there, but my pen kind of jumps. Okay, so now I can um, take care of my like terms. I can add or subtract any like terms. So you know those, those two right there are like terms. What's 4x minus 2x? That's 2x plus 4 equals 6. I can now subtract 4, subtract 4, and I get that 2x equals, so I'm just running out of room here, 2. I'm going to move this over a little bit. <laughs> really run out of room. Um, I got 2x equals 2. I'm going to divide by 2 to get x by itself, which also means I'm going to divide this side by 2 which means that x equals 1. I've totally run out of room. x equals 1. I like this program because it's a little bit neater, but I hate it because there's not a lot of room for me to write. Also, using my phone to write is not the best idea. Um, so we have x equals 1. I'm now going to take x equals 1 and substitute it back into either one of my two original equations. I can just pick which one. Um, in this situation, they don't look any easier than uh, either one, so I'm going to take x equals 1. Um, I'll take x equals 1 and um, substitute it in um, to, I'm just trying to think here. I'll substitute it into this equation right here. I'll pick equation 2 just for the fun of it. So I'm just going to remember that it's y equals 2x minus 4. So I've got y equals 2x minus 4. And the value we're going to substitute in is that x equals 1. Sorry, those are supposed to be brackets because I'm running up at the top of my screen. My phone keeps thinking I'm pulling down my top menu. So we found x equals 1 from our last, uh, uh, from the previous slide. So now I'm going to substitute that in. y equals 2 times 1 minus 4. I then deal with my uh, 2 times 1. I deal with this first. So y equals, what's 2 times 1? 2 minus 4. And then what's 2 minus 4? That's negative 2. So our solution is x equals 1 and y equals negative 2. If you want to connect it to what we were doing the previous days, um, the point that would represent would be 1 comma negative 2 would be also the solution. So last thing we have to do is we have to do a check. So just give me a second and we'll add another side. We have y equals 2x minus 4 was one of our equations. Um, the other equation was 
4x minus y equals 6. So that was, just give me a second. 4x minus y equals 6. So that's 4x minus y equals 6. And we also got that x equals 1. And we got that y equals negative 2. So I'm now going to check. Let's check with equation number 1. So I'll substitute in my values. So I'll do this, my check for e, uh, equation one first. So for equation one, I'll just kind of box that out so it's separate. Equation one, that would mean that it's y equals 2x minus 4, which would be negative 2 equals 2 times 1 minus 4. 2 times 1 is 2. And finally, negative 2. 2 equals, and unfortunately this is behind my uh, one of my control bars, so I can't write at the bottom there, so I'm just going to have to just move this over right here. So um, negative 2 equals, and what's 2 minus negative 4 is 2. So that side is correct. Sweet. Okay, let's see if I can squeeze this in for the second one. Um, so we've got 4x minus y equals 6. Let's substitute our values in. So we'll get 4 times uh, 1 minus bracket negative <laughs> 2. I've probably run out of room. I don't even know why I'm trying to squeeze it in right here. Um, so that's going to be 4 bracket 1 um, minus bracket negative 2 equals 6. So now we can do what's 4 times 1 is 4. And what's a negative times a negative? It's a positive. So that's going to be 4. And a negative times a negative makes a positive. So that's going to be plus 2 equals... Ugh, sorry, just switch to uh, side view. Uh, equals 6. So you can tell that 4 plus 2 does equal 6. So this would be correct as well. We've checked for both of our answers. And we found by substitution our intersection point of our two lines. I hope that helps, and I hope you're all doing well. Take care.